We'll go ahead and get things started for Coach. Stefan, if you want to kick, uh, kick things off. Yeah, Doug, uh, obviously we were just talking to Charlotte. She was talking about how much her, her confidence has gone, grown throughout this year, and that's something you talked about you know, with her maybe even a month ago or so. Um, how, how have you kind of seen her develop, and, and what do you think of her performance today, again, those 18 rebounds? Yeah, she, she was great, and I, li I listened to the tail end of, of her uh, press conference, and it, it matters to have a, team, a teammate – two teammates, the whole team, like building your confidence up. So when she started the year, she had zero confidence that she should be playing here, that she could do anything, that she could catch a ball, and they would go off her hands all the time. And she's just had a consistent work ethic. Uh, we do believe in her even before we had to believe in her. Uh, and there's a big difference. Uh, you know, you can have someone on your team and then not care a lot about them. And then there can be injuries. Then all of a sudden we got to get her ready. Well, we've always been trying to get her ready, whether the, the opportunity presented itself or not, didn't really matter to us. Our goal was to grow her game. Now it happened to be that we really did need her immensely. And I love, you know, even though we we're losing some of these games, I love to see her growth, uh, not only as a basketball player, but her confidence, her ability to see you in the hallway and say hi first. Uh, which is a project we've been working on, is that you're an adult now. You can speak first. Um, and so it's been, it's been very gratifying watching her grow up uh, and grow into a, a very good basketball player. Obviously, you guys had the, the four seniors recognized today, and I know Ashley Jones you know, had a big game, Terry, Anastasia, Maya, they all, they all stepped up. You know, how hard is it, I guess, just at the end of the day to walk away with a loss, especially when it comes on senior day? Well, if it's junior day, if it's sophomore day, if it's freshman day, and you walk away with a loss, it pretty much feels the same. Uh, I've never made too big of a deal about senior day just because there's always some more basketball to be played and there's time to recognize uh, players. But what we talked about before the game, it, it is a special day for them. I don't want to discount it, but it's just as special for their parents and families that came and uh, supported them all throughout the years. And uh, it's, it's as much for them as it is for the kids, uh, because it's kind of a culmination for some of these kids of all those AAU tournaments and crazy gyms all over the country. And uh so we wanted to honor the parents and all of the relatives as much as the seniors. And I, and I thought the way we played, we did. Stefan, you have another question? Yeah, I, I can keep going. Um, obviously, as you guys kind of transition into to postseason play here in the SEC tournament, I know you got, you know, a few probably much needed days off. But, you know, what have you kind of seen maybe in this skid? Uh, is there anything specifically that, that you feel like needs to be addressed before you guys go into the tournament? Well, sometimes playoff basketball ends up being a matchup game and who, who, who and how you match up with them. So you just saw two completely different games, two talented teams like our last two, Tennessee versus Arkansas. Arkansas is, is, is great behind that three-point line. Their guards are electric. Uh, now, while I didn't agree with some of the officiating, the, uh, you know, we put them on the line too much, but sometimes the, the quicker team wins the foul, the foul game. Uh, they, they were quick and it wasn't because of fatigue. It wasn't anything. I mean, they're really good basketball players. So, and then the Tennessee game, you know, keys is a, is a tough matchup six, seven versus our five, seven uh, when Charlie's not in there, it's, it's a tough matchup on that one. And now I think it's Kentucky. Is that what it sounds Kentucky like? Kentucky on Thursday. Yeah. And so that'll, that'll present a brand new set of uh, opportunities and problems and, you know, everything that goes into it. But, uh, but I think what we, what we are learning, and I know this is a long winded answer to your question um, is the confidence for anybody to play anywhere. And, you know, if it, if you're a point guard and you need to get down to the corner and play a three position, you can do that. Uh, you know, moving uh, Katerian Thompson into the center, she can do that. And, and just, 
And I think they're embracing that a little bit more. That is not something that is common in the women's game because they're positions and they want to have answers more than anything else. And, and I think we're able to play off some concepts and we've been really close here in a couple of these, these games down the stretch. And it's not because we're playing bad basketball. The other teams are, are good teams. And, uh, you know, you just keep on putting yourself in that position and you're going to get the stop and we're going to make that key basket when it counts. I know things can, you know, obviously shift depending on how the, the postseason, you know, plays out. But uh, if this is the last game that you guys play at Humphrey Coliseum this season, I mean, what was it like for you in, in this year, you know, getting the experience of watching this fan base and kind of how they've supported the team with the understanding of, of everything you guys have had to overcome? That's an intelligent fan base. Um, and it's very committed to their team and how they play. And so I think we did play an exciting brand of basketball. I think we did compete regardless of circumstances. And again, very gratifying to have a fan base like we do that appreciates that kind of work ethic and, and what those girls did. Um, it, it was so impressive and it grew. Uh, not that it was ever bad. I mean, it was, this is a great women's basketball town. Stark feels unbelievable in their support, but they're supporting something special and they knew it. And it just felt like it was growing all year long. And, and it, tonight was, was amazing. Just like the last couple games that we've been playing. And, and I think they fell in love with this team and, and they had a right to fall in love with them. I mean, our, our, our girls played so hard, played for each other. Uh, played unselfishly that it's hard not to respect that. And uh, uh, yeah, I feel like I was very fortunate to be a part of this for, for this season and, and to, uh, and to, and to see somebody embrace what's right about college athletics. All right. Thanks everybody.